Hello and welcome back to The Body Coach TV. This is day number two of my seven day senior challenge. 10 minutes a day for seven days to get you moving, get you feeling strong, healthy, and hopefully happy. Now today's session is simple, 10 exercises, working for 35 seconds on each move, followed by 25 second rest. If any move doesn't feel suitable, simply switch it, skip it, um, have a little bit more rest, and rejoin when you see an exercise that you can complete. So again, try not to, um, be hard on yourself, you can't do an exercise really deep, you know, with really good range of motion. This is about building you up, it's about increasing your range of motion, getting you feeling stronger, and hopefully improving things. So, first one, nice and simple, is gonna be some nice straight punches. So feet planted on the ground, sort of in a little squat position, bend the knees slightly, and then we're just gonna throw nice straight punches for 35 seconds. Here we go. Right, so nice long arms. We stretch and punch. We're trying to raise our heart rate here, and obviously from the side arm you can see, I'm just pushing and I'm pulling. So push, pull, push, pull. Good, you can go slow, or if you want to, you can pick up speed. Whatever works for you, just really think about elevating your heart rate and getting the most out of this workout. It's 10 minutes, you're gonna feel amazing. If you feel a bit tired now, you're gonna feel energized by the end of it. Come on, eight seconds, nice and fast. Push, five, four, three, two, one, and rest, perfect, good start. Next exercise, we're gonna do a shoulder press. So imagine we're holding some dumbbells or um, some resistance bands, whatever it may be, but we're just gonna use body weight. So hands to the side, elbows out, we're gonna press up and then down. So we're trying to not push forward, try and get your elbows, uh, elbows back. So squeeze your shoulder blades and then press up and down. So we're, so we're retracting the shoulder blades Tense those fists, tension them, and then press up and down. So this is really gonna open up your shoulders, work those muscles in your, your deltoids. Right, push up and down. So we're trying to press those fists up directly above our heads. So we're trying not to go forward with them. If we can, really think about retracting, pressing. That's it, so this is great for your shoulder health. Really gonna, and it might feel a little bit tight in some of those areas, but really think about pushing back of those elbows and pressing up. Right, shake them off. So next one, again, another exercise for the shoulders. Arms out nice and straight. We're gonna go clockwise to begin with. So tiny little circles, clockwise like this, and then we'll rotate and we'll change direction. So you're gonna feel it in your neck and your shoulders. Uh, again, shoulders back, arms out straight. Let's go clockwise. Let's bring those arms forwards, tiny little circle. So clockwise rotations. Try not to let the arms drop here, but try and keep the arms out nice and straight. I'm already gone, I mean, don't feel it in six seconds, right? So, right, keep going, and we'll change at the halfway point, and we'll change directions. So it's tiny little circles, shoulders back, retract those shoulder blades, and let's change directions, so anti-clockwise. They're tiny, we're not doing big circles like this, it's tiny little, oh, that's hard. Right, arms straight, come on, push them out, push those arms, arms out, seven seconds, tiny little circles, ooh. Felt that. Right, next one, we're gonna do some high straights. We're gonna basically throw some punches um, and throw them up. So rather than going sort of straight across the body, we're gonna go a little bit higher. So again, working the shoulders. So in this position, feet sort of shoulder width apart, we're gonna punch up. So look up where you're going and get that little pivot in the feet. So you're, also, you're sort of pivoting, a bit of rotation through the spine. Let's go, so let's up and across the body. It's kind of like a shoulder press, you're punching up, Nice and high, perfect. Keep it going. So really get that rotation. Obviously slow things down if you find it's too difficult, but also if you find it's a little bit easier and you can go a bit quicker. Let's go, one, two, one, two. Pick up, 10 seconds. Keep moving, keep it going. Stretch up, push. Really get that nice big reach. Three, two, one and relax, perfect, right, that's four complete. Exercise number five, we're basically gonna do it, if we can, a squat. So you don't have to go really deep into the squat, but what we're gonna do is squat down, and as we come up, we press. So it's squat, press. So imagine you're holding dumbbells again, so working the shoulders, and the aim here is to bend from the knees, sit into the hips, and push up, good. So we're trying to squat down, and we drive up. 
And remember, you, if you can't get deep into the squat, just do a really shallow rep. So literally bend and up. And to get a bit more strength in these quads and your hips start to open up, you'll be able to get much lower in the squat as you come up. So squat, press, good. Squat, shoulder press. <sighs> trying to keep the weight in the heels and trying to keep your back nice and straight. What we don't want is to go arch our back or bend from here. You really want to bend those knees, sit into that imaginary chair, straight back as you come up. Perfect, that's five complete. Number six, we're, we're basically, if you want to, you can do a star jump, but if you, can do it, if you want to do a bit of an easy bend, we're just going to step. So step that foot out to the side and then bring the arms up. So, nice and slow. Here we go. Step, arms come up. Perfect. So really think about getting those arms above the head, stepping to the side, and it's 35 seconds of work. You can start to feel your heart rate elevating now, so really push it as, as hard as you want. If you feel that thing's a bit too tough, just slow, stop a bit earlier. Have another 10 second break, breather. Right, 15 seconds. This is brilliant. Come on, pick up your energy. Last 10 seconds. One thing I always say about exercise is you never regret a workout and you always feel better afterwards. Three, two, one, and relax. Perfect, right. Doing good. Four more to go. So what we're going to try and do now, if you can, we're going to go down onto the ground. So sitting down nice and gently onto the floor. You can obviously miss this one out if you want to. What we're going to do is lie flat on our back. We're going to lift our knees up like this, hands on the ground, and just take one leg away and back. So nice and slow. And the aim is to kind of keep your abs engaged. So really think about your core muscles. So when you kick out your back can arch, you're trying to keep this engaged. Like really think about these muscles now. So it's hard obviously to kick the foot right away. If that's too hard, just take it slightly away and back. Slightly away and back. Slightly away and back. This is strengthening your core muscles here now. We need that for our posture to improve our like, strength in all other exercises, having a good core. So again, if you take the foot right away, it's going to be harder. It's going to maybe make the back arch a little bit. If that's too challenging, I would just take the foot slightly away. And you've got to imagine like, tightening this area. Okay. Next I'm going to do, we're going to do a kind of um, lying down version of that hip opening that we did before where we're going to lay on our backs, nice wide feet and just again dropping that knee to the ground, dropping that knee to the ground. So you're kind of feeling a stretch in the quad but also open up those hips. So just, this isn't really a, a fast exercise, it's slow, just drop the knees to the right, drop both knees out to the left. Again this is really about that hip mobility getting some blood flowing through that joint and really creating more space. All right, just take your time. So you don't have to hit the knee on the ground, but just try, that's what we're trying to get to. So you might just be going to there, sort of left to right. All these moves are really gonna help you get that movement through your joint and help with your squats and lunges and everything else. Perfect, right, slowly coming up. So we've only got two more to go. So we're going to use now standing up on our feet, so just slowly coming up onto your feet. If you ever need, if you don't have a mat, it's good to get a good exercise mat, but you could always use a towel. So when you're doing things like that, your knees, you've got something a little bit softer to, um, to put your knees on. Right, so next one, nice and simple, we're just going to march on the spot. I really want to get your heart rate up now, okay? So you can go fast or slow, off we go. Lifting the knees up, pump the arms, get those arms involved as well. Right, come on, 30 seconds left. This is great. I need one more move after this and we've completed day number two. Thanks for joining me again, and hopefully you can do the full time of seven days, it's 10 minutes a day. And if you really feel like it, you've got a bit more energy, and you love it, do it once in the morning, once in the evening, whatever works for you, you've got 10 seconds to go. Come on, this is for your mental, it's not just the body, it's the mental, it's the mind. Come on, four seconds, let's march. Bring the heart rate up, three, two, one, and rest. Yeah, I always say that this is really about movement for your body but also your mind just to pick up your energy to pick up you know your spirits a little bit feeling a bit flat a little bit low it changes the way we feel it's amazing okay next up we're going to do toe touches now if you can touch your toes reach up if you can't touch toes just go shins up shins up the angle as you can is go toes and reach come on touch stretch toes to the sky reach 
Good work. So slow it down if you need to. Slow it down. Or pick up the speed if you want. This is the last move. Come on, we've got 15, uh, 18 seconds to go. 18 seconds, stretch up. Last little push. This is the final move. You've done fantastic. 10 seconds, touch, stretch. Nice deep breaths. And for five seconds, four. Big push, three, two, one. And relax. So there we go. Day number two complete. If you feel fantastic and you've got a bit more energy, by all means, go back do another loop. But 10 minutes a day is perfect. Just the right amount, I think. So that, that's brilliant. Day number two complete. Have a great day. Have a drink. Enjoy yourself. Hopefully you feel better. Um, and thank you so much. Please share these workouts with your friends and family. If you've got any other friends that might benefit from these workouts, they're all free. They're all here forever. Um, send them a link in an email or something and um, let them know they're here. So thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. And um, have a great day. And I'll see you tomorrow for day number three of my seven day senior challenge. Well done, everybody.